I, I also uh, couldn't help but notice you with the Country Music Awards and right. uh, a great uh, post of yours was uh, retweeting a photograph of you with Trace Atkins and um, saying that you lost him with your choice of pants, basically. Yes. Right? What happened? Well, well, how'd you get you, here? I'll tell you, uh, Trace, is, um, Trace is a legend. He is, he's a guy I grew up watching. Got the deep voice. I remember my mom mm-hmm. talking about having a crush on him when I was like 12. And I'm like, how cool is this? <laughs> hey, my mom wanted to date you. Didn't say that. Thought it. <laughs> but now I, I literally, I see him on the red carpet. I'm excited. He looks uninterested. And I go up. I shake his hand. He just looks at me and grunts and goes, oh, did you wear your wife's pants to this? <laughs> <laughs> like I've lost them. I've lost everything. All because of a choice of a pair of pants. But I'll tell you what, Chris Rosa. Roser, she's the woman that uh, styled me for this event. Took uh, 48 hours. I told her, hey, I need something. Yeah. Because I was told so late. And uh, I think she put together a nice little Miami drug deal kind of feel <laughs> vibe that I personally really enjoyed. That's, yeah, it doesn't really speak to country music in a way. But uh, it's, it's, it's you. Um, and that's pretty yeah. cool, man, that you were able to do all of that. Um, it was very cool. This city, this city has been awesome to me, and it's just cool to be a part of it, man. I love, uh, I love Nashville, I, and I know that you're, you you love it too. So you know, uh, Father's Day as well. I saw you celebrating your your fatherhood and being best dad ever uh, by crushing a beer uh, at a Preds game yeah. right next to your daughter. Well done. What did your What did your daughter say to you after Daddy crushed a beer right next to her? Well, what was uh, that? How'd that go? Daddy over? made a Daddy made a personal decision not to not to ingest any of that beer because he still rehabbing a knee and didn't want that inflammation but on the car ride home she gave me a very stern talking to how it wasn't nice to pour water on her and mommy oh and it wasn't a beer it was a better next time <laughs> yeah and i was i just looked back at her i said you wish it was water <laughs> <laughs> she gave you a stern t- what's your name again what's your name again? her name is win rebel dude i love it she's outstanding i love it Hey, thanks for the call. You know I, I do love busting uh, Compton's uh, cojones by just uh, acting like he's not even on your pod with you. I don't know why I enjoy I, I don't know why I enjoy doing that. I don't know why I've the never ironic, really I don't really know him that well. The, but the I just, ironic thing about that whole thing is that Will does literally all of the work. He's the so the man behind the scenes also that's crushed this podcast to be yes. able to make it what it is. But I'm all about taking the credit. I think it's I think it's only good for us. Well, you're killing it. When is the motor arriving so I can be on this podcast? <laughs> Taylor. When we got a happen? trailer now. We can throw that thing to wherever you need us to be, buddy. So what are you talking about? That, that does look like that there is a motor with inside that Budweiser bus of yours right there, dude. Yeah, there is a motor. And but it, it doesn't hasn't move? hasn't ran since 1976, I believe. So <laughs> I think I don't think that thing's gearing up anytime soon. Okay. And, hey, if the Rich Eisen Show is the show it claims to be, mm-hmm. they will give us the money to fix the budget. Oh, That's yeah. all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, we've got the if, budget for if that. If the producer's listening and they really want to be yeah. who they are, they would, they would send a Come check. Come on. Portnoy's got that in his couch cushion. You know no that. No question. But just because he's got it doesn't mean he's going to set it on me, man. He's got pizza reviews to do. And, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I, he's got safe moon to the moon. He's got to do a lot of that. Seriously, stuff. like I see the videos. Like he's probably betting as much with Big Cat on tonight's yeah. games than, than your motor costs. Come on. That's let me true. help you out I here. Don't, I don't doubt that at all. You know the thing is, too, he told us in the podcast, you can go subscribe, rate five stars. He told us in the podcast that people think he doesn't bet his own money. He's betting his own money. He's riding and dying with the fans also. So all the emotions are real for those guys. Obviously, your boy can't bet. And uh, I don't plan on doing that. But I'm, <laughs> Neither I'm can this boy. Neither can this boy. That's when I get my cold sweats, too, and these guys talk about gambling terms that totally confuse oh, me. Oh, God, like, people start talking about FanDuel. I get, I, I'm like, oh, please, God, leave me out of it. I cannot. <laughs> I'm not shoeless Joe Jackson, right? I can't. <laughs> wow. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.